In the vast story of human innovation, money has always been one of the most transformative inventions. From the earliest days of bartering goods, to the first minted coins, to paper bills backed by governments, money has taken many shapes. But today, we find ourselves facing a form of currency unlike anything that came before. It is not made of metal or paper, it exists without a physical presence, and yet it can hold immense value. A technology born out of mathematics and trust in code now stands at the center of financial debate. How does cryptocurrency work? It's a force reshaping the way we think about money, trust, and value itself. And its story begins right here on History of Simple Things. To understand how cryptocurrency works, one must begin with its most fundamental principle, decentralization. Unlike traditional currencies issued and controlled by governments and banks, cryptocurrency operates on a distributed network of computers spread across the globe. These networks do not rely on a single authority to verify transactions. Instead, they use a shared digital ledger called the blockchain, where every transaction is recorded transparently and permanently. Imagine a notebook that is not kept by one banker, but copied and updated simultaneously on thousands of computers. Each page is locked in time, unable to be altered once it has been written. This is the beating heart of cryptocurrency. The blockchain itself is built on a fascinating balance of mathematics and consensus. Whenever a person sends cryptocurrency to another, the transaction must be confirmed by the network. Computers, often referred to as nodes, bundle together many of these pending transactions into what is called a block. But before a block can be added to the chain, the system demands proof that the work of verifying it was done correctly. In Bitcoin, the first and most famous cryptocurrency, this process is called mining. Mining is not digging into the earth, but solving complex mathematical puzzles that require computational power. Only once a puzzle is solved does the network accept the block, and as a reward, the computer that solved it earns newly created coins. In this way, mining both secures the system and issues new currency into circulation. Yet cryptocurrency is more than just mining and mathematics. At its core, it is about trust without intermediaries. Traditionally, if two strangers want to exchange money online, they need a bank or payment company to stand in the middle. That bank confirms identities, ensures the money exists, and records the transfer. But cryptocurrency asks a daring question. What if strangers could transact directly without trusting a bank at all? The answer is that cryptographic techniques, particularly public and private keys, make this possible. Each user has a digital wallet containing a pair of keys. The public key acts like an address anyone can see, while the private key is known only to the owner. When a transaction is made, the private key signs it, creating a digital signature that proves authenticity. The network then verifies this signature using the public key, ensuring that only the rightful owner can spend their funds. This system of digital signatures allows ownership to be transferred securely across the globe in seconds, often at lower costs than traditional banking. It also opens doors to individuals who previously lacked access to financial services. In parts of the world where banks are scarce but internet connections are common, cryptocurrency offers the possibility of inclusion in the global economy with nothing more than a smartphone. And because blockchains are transparent, anyone can see transactions recorded on them making fraud more difficult than in many closed banking systems. For some, this is not merely convenience. It is liberation from systems that excluded them for decades. However, not all cryptocurrencies function in the same way. Bitcoin, the pioneer, was designed as a digital alternative to cash, a limited supply currency that could not be inflated at will. Others, like Ethereum, expanded the possibilities by embedding computer code into the blockchain itself. This allowed not only the transfer of value, but also the execution of what are called smart contracts, 
agreements that enforce themselves automatically when conditions are met. With smart contracts, entire financial systems, marketplaces, and even games can operate on a blockchain without traditional managers or middlemen. Each cryptocurrency carries a slightly different vision of what the future of money and technology might look like. Of course, with such innovation comes volatility and risk. Cryptocurrencies are known for their dramatic price swings, rising and falling with a speed and intensity unmatched by traditional assets. This is partly because their value is not tied to physical commodities or government guarantees, but instead, to the belief and participation of their users. For some, this instability is a barrier to adoption. For others, it is the very quality that makes cryptocurrency attractive, a new frontier where fortunes can be built or lost in days. Beyond price, there are also challenges of energy use, as mining consumes vast amounts of electricity and concerns over regulation, as governments grapple with how to oversee something that transcends borders. Yet despite the challenges, cryptocurrency has shown resilience. Each year, more businesses, financial institutions, and even governments experiment with digital currencies. Some nations see them as a threat to their control over money, while others explore ways to integrate blockchain into their economies. Beyond currency, the technology has inspired movements in supply chain tracking, identity verification, and digital art through non-fungible tokens. What began as an experiment in 2009 with Bitcoin has now grown into an entire ecosystem influencing nearly every sector of modern society. At its essence, cryptocurrency is not just about coins or tokens, it is about reimagining the rules of trust. For centuries, humans have relied on central authorities to guarantee fairness in trade and finance. Cryptocurrency proposes a new model where mathematics and code play that role instead. It is not without flaws, but it invites us to question long-held assumptions about who should control money, how it should move, and who should have access to it. Whether one sees it as the future of finance or a passing trend, it has already changed the way the world thinks about value. And so, as we stand at the threshold of this digital revolution, the story of cryptocurrency remains unfinished. It is a tale of cryptography and computers, of ideals and speculation, of risk and opportunity. To some, it is a tool for freedom. To others, a technology in search of stability. But one thing is certain, it has captured humanity's imagination, and its impact will echo through the history of money for generations to come. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.